If you think about the generation of human beings that have as close to any other generation before it lived in a totally immersive world, I would say the best representation of that are current teenagers and 20 year old people, and maybe at the upper edge, the early 30s people. And why is that? You know, they've lived inside of social media their entire lives, they've lived inside of immersive video games their entire lives. But the question is, are they better off and happier, as far as we know, from an evolutionary perspective? And I would tell you that the answer is a is a huge gaping no. So if you believe that the rise in depression, the rise in suicide, the dependency on drugs, the dependency on SSRIs, the sexual promiscuity, the lack of marriage, the lack of kids, if all of those things are in some ways a correlated byproduct, let's not say it's causal, right? Let's just right. say it's a correlated byproduct of this entire immersive, almost exclusionary detached world that these folks have grown up in. Taking that to the limit, I'm just going to put out there, it may not be the solution to our problems. And so I guess the more directed answer to your question is, I would hope that the latter wins so that we take these goggles off and actually learn how to talk to each other and look each other in the eyes get married and have children because I think that's actually better for the world. And I would probably say that it's almost better for the world than a 10xing of productivity. Mm, interesting. And then you see the correlation to cancer and disease that is disproportionately higher amongst these young people. So I think it's at some point to ask ourselves, what is structurally happening in the lives of these 16, you know, 15 to 31 year olds that is just so poor in terms of outcomes? And if you look at some of the environmental variables that they live in, and then take some of those and take them to the limit, I think that there's a reasonable argument that their lives get worse before it gets better. Yeah, I mean, the amount of time you spend on social media is correlated uh, with depression. No, not just social media, yeah. I'm just saying, just this immersive, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to detach it. from yeah. the world and live through a microphone and glasses taken to the limit, I'm not sure is the solution to these kids feeling detached, lonely, Isolated, yep, isolated, and sick. Yeah.